Hey guys, it's your pound all wasted here, and I'm bringing you back some more of the Last of Us Remastered gameplay. Now, I want to share a story with you guys, so this is another life story. It's, it's a little bit different because I used to do university and high school, but I really haven't been, been playing much of The Last of Us, and honestly, I, I just can't wait to for a high school or university map to load up so I can share stories from those experiences. So I'm just going to share one with you guys right now, playing Suburbs, okay? And this is from when I was in a boy band. I briefly mentioned this back in my first university stories video. But yeah, I was in a boy band back in grade 11, so I was about maybe 16, 17, around that uh, time frame. And uh, basically how it all started was I was in a singing competition for my school. Um, it was called Hamber Idol. It's kind of like American Idol. Um, but yeah, Hamber Idol for my school, and my mom wanted me to get singing lessons. And I was like, I don't, I don't know, do I, do I really need this? I mean, I mean, I've been singing for like years, and I'm in choir. Like, did I really need singing lessons? And she, she kind of convinced me to do it, and I was kind of interested in how it was gonna be. And uh, my downstairs neighbors, they had this friend that had this recording company, and uh, which off, which also offered voice lessons. So I decided to, you know, I decided to uh, sign up and just be like, you know what? Okay, I'll try this. I'll see how this will go. So I ended up doing. I ended up doing it. Uh, it cost. It cost you quite a bit. I think it was 250 for eight lessons, and I think I had maybe 16 lessons altogether. I think I paid for. I think my mom paid 500, so I could get singing lessons. And then, um, so I got. I got those eight lessons, and it was great. I got to record in a studio, and I got to warm up my voice. I got to do all these like scales that I would do in um, in choir. But um, it really is because it it's a solo thing. Like it's my own voice. I really had to push my range. I like um, like my my voice uh, from like bass, like low notes to like really high notes. And I had to push my breath. And I had to try to sing in chest voice instead of falsetto, which is a uh, really high voice for for men. And it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was a really difficult experience, and I mean, I don't regret it at all. It was great, but it was definitely not easy for me at first. I just wasn't ever taught to push my voice that far before, and honestly, I'm I'm really glad I did because now I I you know I gained like singing experience from it, and now I know how to push my voice further. And I also learned how to do vibrato. It's when your voice. Um, shakes from one note or from two notes it's uh it's interesting um i i, I would demonstrate it right now but it's it's kind of early in the morning and i'm a little bit sick um i might do it next time just so you guys can hear it but yeah i um i got training and for for those eight for, her, for those eight lessons and then i ended up doing the competition and i placed third overall which I thought was unbelievable, <laughs> and it was amazing. Uh, I sang "Wonderful Tonight," and then I sang this Filipino song because uh, I'm Filipino, but I am from Canada. Um, yeah, and I ended up placing third, and it was really humbling. You know, like I actually had these people vote for me, and then the judges liked my performance. Um, I mean, it's it's an amateur competition for my school, right? And it's it's from you know for all my high school students, for all the high school students there. But you know, placing third out of the entire school, that's like making it to the top ten first of all, and then and then you know placing third overall. It's just it was definitely amazing. But yeah, that's the first part. And then afterward, after the competition, my um <clears throat> my uh, recording producer. I, I call him like he was kind of my voice teacher first, and then he became my recording producer because he asked me if I wanted to be part of a boy band. He said he was creating a boy band and a girl group, and I want I wanted to be a part of a boy band. Like I've never done this before, and uh, it was totally new. So we ended up uh, doing this thing. Um, it was originally four of us guys, and I believe we called ourselves the Blue Notes, or was it Four Tones? I think I think we switched. I think it was four tones first because there was four of us, and then we switched it to blue notes because it, we ended up um, decreasing to three people. Uh, people just got too busy, and with school and life, and there was like a really large age age difference between us. I think the youngest at the time was 15, and I was uh, oh no, 14 I think. Yeah, 14, and I was 17. 
and I think the oldest was 20 and uh, that was like almost four years ago now so that was a really long time but yeah this was back in high school and uh, I really appreciate the experience of being in a boy band I mean like we gotta sing together we gotta record covers of uh, Jason Mraz and um, we were gonna originally write our own music but uh, it ended up falling through that's that's the long story short um, like everyone just got too busy with life and uh, it just didn't end up happening um, we couldn't record our own album in the end but you know I, I'm still really blessed for that experience and uh, we actually got to do a lot of gigs though we got to do a lot of gigs around the community in um, in, in pretty large stages I would say I, I mean like the the venues like the rooms weren't huge but definitely the stages were big and we got to move around we had we had like room to move it was so good and we got to do our own choreography and um, <clears throat> and we got to harmonize with the other guys like it was it was really top-notch and I was uh, I was really excited to be a part of it you know and uh, we had our own photo shoot in this um, in this underground skate skateboard park area and uh, it was really cool with all the graffiti on the wall and we got to wear this exact same thing <laughs> you know like a boy band and uh, oh man it was just it, it just brings back memories talking about it it was great and um, I really miss being a part of it but uh, you know I try to keep in contact with a few of the guys um, <clears throat> from my boy band because it was a great experience and I'm never gonna forget it ever and uh, it really set me up for success in singing because that's what I love to do I love singing and um, and now I'm composing I'm writing music in school and that's what I'm studying and um, but uh, music and singing will always, you know, be with me, and uh, I, ca I can't stop. It's, it, it just, it's, it's just, no, I'm just not, I'm just never gonna stop. And um, it, it's great. Uh, I'm just really happy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope to continue singing more. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back to my solo career, but if I can call it that. I don't know if I can. But yeah, I, I really hope I can because, you know, it would just be great. But if not, you know, I can always join other choirs in the community once I'm out of my youth choir because that uh, okay. um, gotcha. that cuts off at about 22, 23. So, and I'm 20 right now, so I still got a few more years to go. And then I'll be able to venture off into doing other choirs, other older mature choirs that I can audition for and just gain more experience and build my voice more. So yeah, that's my life, and that's how passionate I am about music. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I hope to share more stories like this. I have a lot of like music-related stories. Like I, I think uh, next I might share my experience um, touring with my choir from all the way from Canada to California. We went to Disneyland. We stopped by San Francisco. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna talk about that next time. Cause that was one of the best, one of the best experiences of my life. We gotta, we gotta perform at Disneyland. Like, not a lot of people get to do that. I mean, some people do. Like, if you know, if you're, if you're touring, like I did. But yeah, I will definitely talk about that next time. And I don't know, maybe some other university stories. I don't have too many, but I'll, I'll definitely share them for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you heard and saw, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. I'll be bringing you back more Last of Us content soon, along with Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. Till next time. I need some meds. Watch my back. Keep an eye out. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Fire in the hall. Watch my back. Finished. Move out. Someone cover me while I take care of this. That's one down!
finished. Too bad.